Hello and welcome to this video tutorial which will show you how to install our new answering units, in this case 2N Indoor View. Our new answering units are installed into an installation box that may be shared among both video and audio answering units. This box is sold separately and is suitable for both plasterboard and brick wall installations. It contains a unique mechanism that allows you to adjust the horizontal angle of the unit after the box has been installed. The box requires a circular hole 103mm wide and 50mm deep. And it comes with a cap to prevent ingress of unwanted construction materials like dirt and dust. The packaging contains some installation recommendations and, most importantly, a link to the installation manual. This is the cap and here is the installation box itself. It comes with these anchoring brackets which are used for plasterboard installations. You can either leave or remove them for brick wall installations as they're not necessary. For cabling we recommend to use the top or bottom holes but of course you can use any of the others as required. This is the levelling mechanism, which allows for up to plus or minus 5 degrees of adjustment. Alright, so the more common option is to install it into a brick wall. The first step is to cut out a circular hole 103mm wide and at least 50mm deep. Then you can optionally remove these anchoring brackets. Check if you have the box oriented properly and make a hole for the cabling where suitable. Test if the box fits the hole. If it does, then you can fix the box in place. Make sure it's level and not tilted vertically. After seating the unit in mortar, we recommend waiting for at least two hours for the mortar to harden. Then you can break off the clips, tidy up the cabling and fit the dust cover. The second option is to install it into a wooden or plasterboard wall. Be careful not to make the hole wider than the box itself, otherwise it will fall through. If necessary, file the hole so that the box fits snugly. Again, make sure the box is oriented properly and make a hole for the cabling. Level the box, pull out the required cables and tighten the anchoring brackets. Now you can break off the clips and fit the dust cover. Installation of the answering unit itself is then fairly easy. Just connect the required cables, insert the unit into the box and tighten the screws slightly so that you can still adjust the angle of the unit. Once it's level, you can then finish tightening the screws. This is the 2N Indoor View, our new video answering unit. Here you can find a quick installation guide. At the back of the unit, you've got the Ethernet port which supports PoE, terminals for external power and a doorbell button, plus a line-out for an external induction loop. The terminal connectors come in the box, along with the hex key used for tightening the screws of the unit. Alright, let's plug in the cables and tidy them up. Any additional cabling for things like doorbell or the audio induction loop can be placed underneath the Ethernet cable so that it can hold them all in place. Insert the answering unit into the box. It'll practically attach itself. Tighten the screws slightly, adjust the unit's angle and finish tightening the screws. There's no need to overdo it. One half rotation after you start to feel resistance is more than enough. Now plug in the unit to see if it works properly and that's it, you may start configuring the unit. Head over to academy.2n.cz for interactive courses and official certification. Thanks for watching and we wish you a pleasant experience with 2N products.